Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a question for you and maybe an answer. And the question is, what is the most optimal choice of Maxxis tires from Duro riding? When I say optimal, I mean everything from the grip to the strength to the longevity to the price. My God, the price. I'm doing my ass on this sport. It is so expensive. So I've put together a little PowerPoint here to try and figure it out. And if you run Maxxis tires, I would love if you drop a comment, tell me front and rear what you run. I want to know tread, compound, and casing. And if you don't run Maxxis, like, I'm, I'm sure that Kenda make a great tire, and Continental, and Michelin, but today it's about Maxxis. All right, so I've just lined up there all the tires I can think to run from the fastest rolling on the left-hand side to the slowest rolling with the most grip on the right-hand side. And Everything in the middle is a, it's a bit of a guessing game. I've done my best. I looked around. I can't even check on the Maxxis website like what is actually the fastest rolling and the most grip. They're kind of cagey on all the information. Uh, I've also left out the shorty because I live in Australia. I ride on a lot of rock and a lot of sand. I don't have to worry about mud clearance, so I haven't added that there, but you can go ahead and put that in if you want. All right, so if we're talking the front tire, I used to run the Minion DHF. Why? I don't really know. People told me to and the F stands for front apparently, so I used to run that. They released the Asagai, and so now I run that one because I just want a hectic amount of grip. I do not want to slide out my front. And so on the rear, I run a DHR2. I don't really know why. It's because apparently the R stands for rear, so that's what I run, and that's what a lot of people run around here. But I'm totally willing to give up some grip on the rear. So can, like, can anyone sell me on an aggressor on the rear because they want a really fast rolling rear tire? but like an Asagai on the front because they want a lot of grip. Like, does that make sense? Do people run that? Let me know. And so I've also thrown in the high roller there and the dissector. It's all too complicated for me. I don't run them, but like if I had to run them on the rear, I probably, I probably wouldn't have a problem with that either. So moving on to the rubber compound, you basically have three main types. There's a couple others, but these are the three you're basically gonna get. Dual compound, max terra, and a max grip. So the dual compound, has got two types of rubber. I couldn't find a picture for it, by the way. Two types of rubber. Uh, it's harder rubber, so there's less grip, but it's quicker rolling and it lasts longer. Then Max Terra, it's three types of rubber. It's softer than the dual compound. And then you have the Max Grip, which is also three types of rubber, but it's even softer again. So right now I'm running Max Grip on the front tire. I used to run Max Terra. And I was just like, well, I don't want my rubber to wear out too quickly, and I don't, I want a bit of grip, so I'll go Max Terra. But now I'm just like, I want Max Grip, so I'm, I'm going Max Grip. On the back, I could, I could probably be convinced to go to a dual compound. I'm currently running Max Terra, so can anyone convince me to drop down to dual compound to get a bit of extra longevity and a bit of faster rolling resistance? I don't know. All right, so now moving on to casing, and I think this is like the most confusing part of it. So again, you got four main types, XO, XO+, plus, double down, and a downhill. So XO, it's got the XO protection, and it's got one layer of casing at 60 threads per inch. The XO+, plus, it's got one layer of 120 threads per inch, so it's not as strong, like 120 is finer threads than the 60, so it's actually weaker. But then they put in that silk shield layer, which apparently makes it stronger. I got a feeling that XO Plus might be a bit of a scam. <laughs> like I think you should probably use XO and then if you're tearing tires go for a double down or a downhill. So I ride in Sydney, I ride on a lot of sandstone, it's not a particularly strong rock and so it kind of smooths out over time, you don't get hectic jaggy edges, so I'm not tearing tires too much. So right now I'm actually running, it's kind of weird, I'm running an XO Plus on the front tire and then an XO on the rear, which if anything you'd think you'd reverse that because you want a little bit more strength on the rear because you're casing things and you just tend to tear up rear tires more. But I got a really good price on an XO Plus on the front, so that's what I'm using. So my question is, does anybody run a double down or a downhill even though they don't tear tires up much? Like is there any advantage to running a, I guess a, a harder, more durable casing even though you're not tearing tires up? Like, am I right that you should just use XO unless you're tearing tires, then move to a double down or a downhill? All right, so moving on to an example here, like the outcomes of what you choose here can drastically change the cost of a setup. So if you're on a budget, I reckon just go for dual compounds and something that's readily available. So in the selection here, by the way, I picked these prices up like a couple months ago. I did all this and I never made the video, so don't pay too much attention to the prices. Like, it's all about the relative difference. 
So on a budget, dual compound, I've gone a DHF on the front and a DHR2 on the rear, both in XO, and it comes out to $130. Which is still gonna give you some decent tires, but using the dual compounds, so you're kind of trading off a bit of the grip, but they will last a long time too. If you got no budget, right, and I'm just like an example, you just want max grip, max strength, no budget, front rear Asagai in max grip and double down or a downhill. And you're talking like 200 to $210. So that's like 70 to 80 bucks more expensive if you go for that option. Or you can go for like a Goldilocks, like somewhere in the middle. So on the front, I've got Asagai in a Max Terra and then on the rear, DHR2 in Max Terra as well. And that's like $170. So it's like $130 for a budget 170 for that midway point and then like 200 210 for the full shebang and So like I said on the front I'm running the Maxxis Asagai in the max grip and Running XO plus which I said I actually think is a bit of a scam But I just got a crazy deal on these like they're normally like 90 some odd dollars But I got them for 60 bucks on sale for the, uh, the Black Friday sale in November last year And so I got a few of them. I was gonna back the truck up and just buy like 10 but then I was thinking like that's like five to ten years worth of riding, <laughs> like, I don't know. And if I got it wrong, like, I'm like, oh, now I've just got all these tires that I don't want to use. And on the rear, I'm running the DHR2 with XO protection in the Max Terra. So again, if you run Max's tires, I'd love if you drop a comment and tell me what you run. If I get enough people together, I might make a little bit of analysis out of it, like, and stick it on the Instagram or something like that. And if you don't run Max's, I don't want to hear you proselytizing about some other brand. I'm sure they're awesome. But Maxis have already made this too confusing for me and I'm just not switching. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.